Hey happy homemakers and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be an extreme declutter of this junk room. Now typically I don't have a full junk room in my house but we just moved into this house a month ago. If you're not new here you'd probably already know that but this is a room where I had just put a lot of stuff that really didn't have a home in the new house and I just needed to figure out where the new home was gonna be for it and then of course some of my girls toys because as I told you guys in my last video they just love to play in this room <laughs> I've been needing to clean it out but it was on the bottom of my to-do list because we've been so overwhelmed with so many things since we moved into this house but I had a little bit of a fire under my butt to get it done because one of my little sisters is going to be coming and staying with us for the summer she got a job out here near us but it's gonna be a job where she's traveling a lot and so since she is moving about seven hours away from where she is living currently she wanted to kind of get settled in and have a few months to kind of get to know the area and see how her job schedule is gonna be because she'll probably have some times where she'll be out of town for like a week and only home once a week it's gonna be kind of a crazy schedule for her especially the first year that she is doing this new job so basically she's just gonna come and stay here get to know the area see what it's like maybe find a roommate figure out where she wants to live and all of that and so she's gonna be staying with us this summer while she kind of gets her feet wet in this area and I think it's gonna be perfect for her because she actually just talked to me yesterday and found out that for the first month I think she's only gonna be home between four and eight days so I told her I was like yeah it would be a total waste of money to be renting an apartment that you're gonna be in like four to eight nights a month so I guess if her you know job ends up being that crazy where she is gone that much she'll do one type of living situation versus if she finds out okay it's like this sometimes but then other times I only work one day out of the week or whatever it may be so when she kind of tries to see what her routine is I don't know how quickly she'll find out then she'll obviously be able to kind of better determine her living situation and so we're super excited to have her come and live with us this summer It'll be fun for my girls to get to know her because um we have not seen her much at all since I moved away they see her like once a year at Christmas and that's it so I'm really excited for her to come and stay with us and I think it's going to be really fun we are getting this room taken care of completely cleaned out and we are also getting a fan put in and all of that which you guys will see in a little bit All right, so I'm gonna let Erin go ahead and put the ceiling fan up for her. I'm leaving the rest of the stuff in here. We'll probably pull the kitchen out later um, and put it in my office so that it's not in her space. And I may also take Kinsey's clothes out of here and merge them with Alexa's so that my sister can use this as well. So we'll revisit that later for right now. This is gonna stay in here. He's gonna put the fan up while I start working on everything else. And then, um, I'll come back in here and like make up the bed. I'm leaving that and then the other thing in here for um, bedding for her. And then the fan, we'll probably take one of these fans and put it in my office and leave the other one in here for her. Here is the mess from <laughs> everything. It's funny how much you can fit in one bedroom. It's a lot of stuff.
The biggest reason I had not <laughs> taken care of this room is honestly just because a lot of this stuff, I didn't know what I wanted to do with it. And I was, like I said earlier, stressed out with everything else we had to do. So um, I kind of was just taking one box at a time and sorting through it. And I have given you guys this advice in other decluttering videos, but I like to take one box out at a time and that would have been what I would have done with this room except for the fact that Aaron was gonna go in there and put a fan so that's the only reason I pulled everything out my original plan was to pull out one box at a time but it since I didn't get around to this until a Saturday I told him I was like well this would be the perfect opportunity for you to go ahead and put the ceiling fan in there for her he and I pulled everything out and then once I started sorting through the boxes he went in there and put the ceiling fan in and so that worked out really well to go ahead and do it this way but in order to keep myself from like not being overwhelmed I was taking one box at a time out of the hallway area and into the living area. This is wrapped in saran wrap so I was trying to like not get a glare on the picture but this is a pencil drawing that's completely just pencil on white paper that my husband Aaron did back in ninth grade. I'm always telling you guys how he's an artist even though he doesn't really spend much time. He doesn't you know we have so many <laughs> things going on in life. I really wish he could pursue more um, time to that but it's not something that he really cares to make time for because we have so many other things that are more important to him and to our family. But yeah, I just want to show you guys that when I came across it because I'm always telling y'all that he's an artist and I love showing his work off because ugh, I just really honestly wish he could just be somebody who like does oil portraits all the time because I love his work. It's always so beautiful and so perfect. And I always say that that reminds me of like a black and white photograph and I love showing people what he can do. So here I am, I'm just going through a lot of old wax melts that I had and I told you guys in my last video I talked about how I used to have a candle business and that I had stopped selling candles and so I was kind of burning through that. I was doing the same thing with the wax melts but what I didn't realize is that over time the fragrance kind of leaches out of these plastic containers and so they, they lose a lot of their fragrance. So I was actually tossing some of the holiday fragrances that I didn't really care for anyway because I know they're not going to be very strong. I did still keep some of these um, just to try to burn through them but we'll see whenever I go to actually start burning them if they still have any fragrance and then I'll toss them if they don't at that time. So then I moved on to all the rest of this stuff and I did kind of do quite a bit off of camera as well because I was getting a little overwhelmed at certain points in this process and so just wanted to be honest with you guys about that so you know like I feel whenever you watch these kinds of videos, it can be like, oh wow, everybody is like so good at decluttering or organizing or whatever, you know, like, I don't know, that's, that's how I am. People who are super organized probably don't feel that way. But for me, I feel like, man, everybody else knows what they're doing. They get it done so easily. But just wanted to encourage you guys that um, most of us <laughs> that are not naturally gifted in this area, and maybe those of us who are still do, but most of us get overwhelmed, I would think. I definitely get super overwhelmed with this kind of stuff, especially when it's this much. And so I always encourage you guys, one box at a time however it long it takes it may take longer sometimes i literally just take a break and go sit down for five minutes get something to drink and like regroup i actually did that several times on this day <laughs> and then aaron would walk in the room and i would jump up because i didn't want him to think i wasn't working but i like mentally had to reset <laughs> i got a coffee at one point in the middle and just sat down and drank it because i was like well i didn't drink the whole thing but i sat there for a few minutes sipping on it like okay regroup it's kind of like how i've told you guys before that in the afternoon sometimes i get you know where i feel like everything is such a struggle but then in the morning it's fresh eyes sometimes just a little break in the middle of a decluttering project if you have a big one you're trying to tackle all at once can be enough to just kind of reset you and that did help me on this day as well
So if you guys saw last week's video, I actually um, did it more of like a podcast style and I was talking about how to have a peaceful home. It's not up yet <laughs> at the time we recorded this voiceover, but I would be curious to know how many of you guys enjoyed that. I don't know what the response is yet because it hasn't gone up yet, but leave me a comment down below if you didn't comment on that last video and let me know if you enjoyed that style, if you'd like to see more of those podcast style videos from me because I'd love to do more of those. I found that video really fun. I've been really enjoying listening to a lot of other moms encouraging and I just feel like being encouraged by other Christian moms has been so like beneficial for me I started to listen to a lot of um, I, I would say elder or more experienced moms but sometimes people are younger than me or the same age as me and they just are at a different place in their life maybe they've had kids you know longer they had kids younger than I did and so they you know they have an eight or ten year old or teenagers or whatever and they may they may not be my same age but as far as their motherhood journey they're older in that sense and the Bible does talk about um, the older women teaching the younger women and how beneficial that is to us and that's a model we're given in the Bible and I think it's in Titus um, where the Bible talks about that but I have recently been thinking a lot about how that seems to be lacking in our society and man I have just been recently really soaking up so much for more mature Christian women and I just find it so helpful to me and I think it's something we really need in our society I really enjoy just being to put another voice of just encouragement to other moms not coming from an older mom perspective but I guess if you're 20 and you're newly married then maybe my voice would be an older one as someone who's been a mom for six years and married for 16 just let me down a comment down below if you have any suggestions for me for the podcast style youtube has a podcast section now let me know what you guys thought of that one or if you prefer the music or just my chit chat like this <laughs> and uh yeah anyway i would just love to hear your perspective and what you thought if you enjoyed that video or not okay, I'm <laughs> What are y'all doing? like bathroom stuff that was in their bathroom in the rental house um, it's like ear cleaning stuff some of it's stuff from when they were babies like for cleaning out their nose and stuff and so some of it I was able to get rid of um, but these little these little uh, tan containers are all from the Dollar Tree and past organizational projects that have actually served in multiple rooms across multiple houses but anyway that's where those are from but those did have some like stuff that's filled in them so I had to put those aside to be washed I had needed to like put some soap in them and wash them out but I want to get 
that bathroom organized because I want to have a drawer and a cabinet for my sister to be able to put all of her personal products in there while she's staying with us. And so I just put that stuff to the side so that I can use that to um, go ahead and organize the bathroom later on. That'll probably be one of my projects that I get done. And hopefully, um, actually, I need to get it done next week because she'll be here in June, the beginning of June. So I was going to say in the next two weeks, but I really need to get that done this week. And so then I was just going through the girls' little um, bin of dress up clothes here. They had some items mixed in that were regular clothes that uh, didn't fit anymore. So I was just looking at all the sizes to see what needs to go to Goodwill and what just needs to go with their regular clothes and separating those from the dress clothes. So I went ahead and cleared all of Kenzie's clothes out of this closet and put them in with Lex's clothes. And now we just have spare blankets and stuff and some cookbooks. I need to go through these clothes and make sure there's none in here that do not currently fit Kenzie. And then they're gonna go in Lex's closet. But you'll see here where I put the ones already. They need to clean their room. <laughs> they came in here and made a mess. I just moved all of Lex's clothes to this side and separated it by their little hanging shoe things that we got at Walmart for their shoes. So this is the space for the rest of Kenzie's clothes. So I'm just gonna go through those, move all of those in here. And then I know Kenzie and Lexa both have some clothes they don't wear. Probably weed them out just to kind of make it where they have a little more space in here over time. But I'm not too super concerned with that today. I know there were some stuff in here that was too small. So I am gonna go through that stuff. But this room looks so nice with the fan and everything. So I'm just gonna go through these real quick and I'll wait probably to move this to my office until it gets closer to her coming because I still need to clean my office out. Okay, so the closet, everything's in here now. It is a little crowded, especially on Kenzie's side. But I do know that she has clothes, there are clothes in here that she doesn't wear. Same for Alexa. But if this gets to be a little too packed or crazy, what I'll do is I'll move probably their jackets and maybe some of their fancy dresses into my um, office closet just to alleviate some space in here so it's not so crammed. Um, but this is where we're at for now and then I'll go ahead and show you guys how the room looks. Okay, right, so this is the final shot of the room with just the sunlight coming in. I think these fans that we picked came out really cute. Um, and yeah, so this will be a nice little space for her and I dropped a pair of uh, pants on the floor. <laughs> I just have a few more boxes in here. I've been going through this stuff off camera um, but those blankets need to go in the girls room. I need to find somewhere for the blender. These are some toys um, and random things that I still need to find a place for like, like the floor steamer. This stuff is going into to Goodwill and then the girls um, have a couple of toys there. This pile is going into my office. And um, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with these just yet. But the girls are starting to get... Okay, honey, we've been cleaning for hours. So the girls are starting to get a little anxious waiting for us. So I'm probably just going to rush around and kind of just put this stuff... Um, you know, some going, some of it's going into storage, some of it is going into the office, and some is going in their room, but I'm just going to kind of rush around and finish this up so that 
um, it can be neat and tidy in here and we can go ahead and get on with our Saturday and letting the girls kind of go do something fun. the Amazon app off my phone for a few months because I was spending a little too much money on Amazon and I think I need to do that again because I've been spending a little too much on Amazon but I did want to share with you guys this product that I got I've actually had my eye on this for at least a year maybe two or three years I don't know for sure but it's just a battery organizer and there's a bunch of different options for this on Amazon but this one in particular um, has a space like 48 spaces for um, double A, triple A, and then like eight spaces for C batteries and six spaces for D batteries and then some spaces for some other like nine volts and stuff like that. And then it comes with a pocket for like random other batteries. And then there's also this little battery tester that you see there on the left side. So you can check and see if your batteries are any good. Um, like if you're not sure if the batteries, you know, um, are new or not you can kind of test and see if they still have juice in them or whatever so I'm just loading that up here and then this was actually the next day that I was uh, doing this because I had ordered it on impulse on that day I say impulse but I've been looking at it for several years like I said so not I kind of I have my impulse purchases a lot of times are after like looking at something for years and so it's like mm, is that really an impulse <laughs> it was an impulse purchase in the moment but I've been wanting this for years because we definitely keep a little stack of batteries and I love that so I put all of these here and then on the right side there was another spot for some more AA batteries and I put our rechargeable batteries there and then the top pocket I ended up putting um, the little uh, charger thing that you plug into the wall to recharge rechargeable batteries and then also our batteries that were like watch batteries and stuff like that that I had in Ziplocs I put those in you'll see me uh, put those in the top of the little container but overall I would recommend this thing it's nice and sturdy and I love it so if you're looking for a way to organize your batteries I'll have this linked in my description box and also my Amazon store I'll do my best to remember to put it in there Sometimes I'd, I will uh, forget and then you guys have to tell me that I'll go and add it to the description box. Anyway, just getting all of those organized and then I'm going to show you guys a, an overview of how everything turned out. Through the night, cause I promise you this. with how this all turned out I think it looks so nice I probably am gonna go back eventually and get some little like trays for the shoes to like go under there just so it looks a little more organized if we're gonna keep our shoes there this is how the room turned 
turned out real simple we're probably gonna go in and take a little toy kitchen out I think I told you guys that earlier but it looks so nice in here I'm super happy with how it is I've been anxious to get the girls a little th holder hung up for their backpacks so this is the office it is total disaster that's gonna be another one of my upcoming projects <laughs> after I get everything related to my sister taken care of because I need to do that bathroom organized first Aaron's gonna be hanging up these pictures for me this weekend and then you see here there was a couple of boxes that he needs to take care of which were right there next to the island and then there was a basket of junk that we needed to put somewhere else but other than that we got it all taken care of thank you guys so much for watching today's video if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up subscribe if you're not already and i'll catch y'all in the next one bye there's a new day waiting